What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, we're taking a look at my favorite AEW action figures to quote-unquote play with. Now, I'm not up here just, you know, playing with my figures in that general sense. However, man, I do pick these figures up and I'm posing them around. I'm taking pictures of them. I'm making videos about them. I'm doing all these different things. So, I mean, in terms, I mean, I guess technically you are playing with those. However, man, we're going to dive into it today. And I'm going to break down kind of like the best AEW figures to pick up and pose around. Just the ones that feel the best in hands, the, one that, the ones that I really enjoy joy and all those different things man so again this is kind of like kind of what plays into our pick fed roster the other day you know figures that pose around well or feel good in the hand but let's shut the hell up and dive into it man let's start first off with kenny omega okay i've talked about this a little bit before but the supreme edition kenny omega or just the aew kenny omega figures really just i don't know man they really play a massive role in the history of wrestling action figure history man it's kind of un unreal but here we have the first ever supreme kenny omega and then we do have have the Supreme Series 2 or the Walmart exclusive here. And both of these are freaking fantastic. They pose around just unbelievably, man. Unbelievably. The butterfly joints, the different stuff. You get this street gear right here. And I'm going to go ahead and say it. These two Kenny Omegas right here, I had to include them both. Not only those two, but the Unmatched Series 1 Kenny Omega. There's a reason I have like 12 of those. Yeah, I said 12. And then the Unrivaled Series 4 Kenny Omega. All four of these figures are just unbelievable. They are the best man. They are just the best. The head sculpts, the posability, the feel in hand. They're the epitome, man. I had to give a shout out to those. Okay, so the Unrivaled Series 1, don't like it. D it does not compete with these. The Unrivaled 1B, don't compare with these. The GameStop exclusive's okay. It's warmer, but still not on par. And then even the AEW Ring, like Ringside Exclusive Kenny Omega, still not on par, man. These right here are the cream of the crop when it comes to the Kenny Omega figures, and they had to go first. They're just unreal. They're unreal. So I had to get those guys knocked out first. Another guy, man, Darby Allen. Allen. I've talked about this before. He's very similar to Kenny Omega in the fact that his figures are just ridiculous, man. They feel so good in the hand. I just feel like I like buttery smooth. Like he's so tiny, but he's just, he's he's kind of the AEW equivalent of a Rey Mysterio. Feels so good in hands. Very precise. Just just awesome. Just so awesome. Just feels immaculate in the hand. Feel like you can get him in any pose you possibly want to. And I'm gonna go out here and say I, I have a list of Darby Allens that fit this mold. Every single Darby Allen except the Unrivaled 11 in the cargo pants. Every other Darby Allen feels fantastic in the hand, and I, I just put on five-star classics with it. It just feels, it's unreal, man. So I'm talking about Unmatched Series 1 right here, the Unmatched Series 1 Chase, the Unrivaled 3, the Unrivaled 3 Chase, the Target Exclusive, the 2-Pack, the Unrivaled 13. All these different Darby Allen figures, man, they fit the mold, and they are the best. They're just ridiculous. Some of my favorite wrestling action figures ever in terms of feel in hand and posability are the Kenny Omega and the Darby Allen. And that's how damn good they are. Next up, we have the Supreme Collection Lucha Bros, man. These are special, man. These are really special figures. Now, I'd like them to be a little bit tighter than they are. I will say they're not as tight as I'd possibly like. But in terms of Jesus in heaven, you see me snag that? I've been, ooh. These guys feel really damn good, man. They have buttery smooth joints. I don't feel like I want to just lose my mind. But they could be a little bit tighter. But in terms of posability and, and hand feel, they feel really, really nice. I love these. And not to mention, like, these may be two of the most underrated. AEW figures ever made, man. The Lucha Bros Supremes are just so freaking nice. Next up, we have the Unmatched Series 6 Brody Lee, man. I love this figure. Rest in peace to the legend. This guy is just so good, man. I love a good suited figure. You guys know I love suited bodies, but this figure just feels so pr precise and tight. He is just neat as hell. I love this figure. Feels immaculate in the hand like we discussed. And not only this one, but the Unmatched Series 3 is really good. They've never made a bad Brody, man. Every Brody is just the top, top of the notch, but I do like the Unmatched Series 6. It's probably my favorite Brody. I just think it's a really unique piece, and I love guys in suited bodies, so... This Brody's just the best, man. Great figure right there. Next up, we have some CM Punks right here, man. These are the two best CM Punks, in my personal opinion. Now, the Blood and Guts, for some reason, it feels better in hand to me than the recent Unmatched Series 8 Punk. But I do really enjoy the Blood and Guts, man. Yeah, I really do like that one a lot. But the Supreme is clearly the cream of the crop, man. I mean, they call it the Supreme for a reason, man. He can pose around fantastic. You have these butterfly joints. I mean, his size is a bit out there. But it's about my favorite figures to pick up and pose. And this guy's just so fun. Between the Go to Sleep 
sleep, you know, and the different, he can get into the it's clobber and timing, get on a knee, like, dude, just look how quick and easy that was, and he still has, like, these decent sized knee pads. Now, again, the scaling is a bit whack, man, it's a bit whack on the scale. I wish he was smaller. Probably would have made him better, too, in terms of just feeling hand and posability, too. Like, when these figures get this damn tall, man, they're not, I don't know, it just kind of depends, you know, on that situation there, but these two figures are really damn good as well. Blood and Guts Ringside Exclusive Punk and Supreme Edition Walmart Exclusive CM Punk. I think this is the last Supreme we have, man. It is the Cody Rhodes figure, a very fun figure. I love posing him around in the jacket. I can't wait for the Ultimate Edition. I know this is an AEW video, but the Ultimate Edition is going to be great, but like the Lucha Bros, I do wish that his legs were a little bit tighter. However, he is still a fun figure, man. Before the Ultimate, before any of that, man, while he was in AEW, I just, I, this joy, this figure is a joy to pose around. It really is. I love the sculpted jacket. I like that we have a butterfly joint Cody right here. Very bright and colorful, but he just feels very tight-knit. I, I love it, man. Like, this right here, I just, I don't know, man. He just, it stands out to me. Feels really good in the hand. Next up, we have Wardlow, man. And Wardlow, you wouldn't think that he could really pose around that great, and I really just wish he had butterfly joints. I've been trying to figure out a formula, make him into a Supreme or an Ultimate Edition. Still can't really do it. I'm still playing with some different stuff, but I love his figures, man. All of his figures. I like the Unmatched Series 2. I like the Unrivaled 10. I like the Unrivaled 13. I like the Walmart Exclusive that we have here, so I really enjoy his figures. So any Wardlow figure is a damn good one, but my favorite attire they've done is probably the Walmart exclusive. It's hard to say. I really like the Unravel 13, and I really like the white gear and the white and purple. I just don't like that it's, you know, sort of a, a time, you know, a space in time, right? It, this is kind of a singles Wardlow, so I don't know. It's just It just depends there, man, but I love me a good Wardlow, man. Love Wardlow. He's a beast. Speaking of guys falling on their faces, we have this Sammy Guevara TNT ring set exclusive, man. All his figures feel damn good in the hand, but I recently uh, turned one into a custom, and then I traded the other one, so this is the only, I mean, the only Sammy I have left that's in wrestling gear, I think. Uh, I have extras. This is just the one that I have loose, just kind of chilling right now. And this figure just poses around so good. One of those that really captures the likeness of a character on my television, so that's really nice. I, I really enjoy the Sammy Guevara. I'm not the biggest fan of the guy on television, but he can go in the ring, and I really enjoy posing this figure around. Also, not to mention, this gear is bad, A. Eh? Another one that poses around and looks really good and like the character on television is Ricky Starks from Unrivaled 9, man. Guy just poses around fantastic. I've seen a lot of people fed with this figure. Same thing as the Guevara. And it just, it, it's just so nice, man. It's like it brings it to life. I just think that the feel and hand is great. I love the posability. He can do all the different things you want to do here. I don't know what the hell. He's like silver surfing right here. But he looks really damn good. I really like this figure a lot. Buttery smooth, man. All the things that I talk about with feel and hand, and I don't even know if you guys understand what I'm talking about when I say feel and hand or posability or just the niceness of some of these figures. But this Ricky Starks pretty much checks all those boxes that we like to talk about. And I mean, really, every figure in this video really checks those boxes. But next up, we have Unmatched Series 8 Malachi Black. And you'll notice this is the only Malachi Black that we have because I didn't put the Supreme on here, man. I really didn't like the way the Supreme posed around. I felt like his torso was too damn big, but I really love this suited body. You'll probably notice I have a lot of suited body figures on here. You know, not every single suited body, but most of them. And I just, I really enjoy the posability of this unmatched 8 Alistair or Malachi Black. It was a ton of fun posing them around. I still, you know, pick them up time to time. And it's crazy because I have figures that just kind of lay around and I'll pick it up and pose it around or do a sequence with it for nothing. So yeah, the unmatched 8 Malachi is a serious contender. And the last suited figure we have is going to be unmatched 4 series Cody. Unmatched 4 series. Series. What are you saying? Unmatched Series 4 Cody. This one is just, I mean, what was it? The 2022 figure of the year? I mean, this guy's a beast, man. He, he does all the things you need him to do. He shows up, he beats the hell out of you. He's got the shin cut. And, like, oh my god in heaven. When you have a guy in a suit and he can freaking do super kicks and do all these crazy poses and look like he's jumping off a building in an MCU movie or something. Look at this right here. Just, argh. yeah, dude, he's just awesome. He's awesome. I love the posability of this figure. The only thing that would make this figure better is the winter coat being shorter. If this was a regular suit jacket, this might be one of my favorite AEW figures of all time. I mean, it's still up there. You know, if I did my top 10 favorite AEW unrivaled or unmatched figures of all time, can't really count the Supremes in my opinion. But and speaking of Cody, we do have another Cody here and most of them pose around the same but those earlier Cody's had really stiff legs and things of that nature but this TNT Cody is really nice. I'd say it probably has the best feel in hand out of all of them outside the Supreme. I just really enjoy this one, man. I find myself picking it up and posing around a lot. Gear's fantastic. Just a great. I know it doesn't really have anything to do with the figure, but, you know, or this video in general, but you know what I'm saying. The only women's figure that we have in this video is the Unmatched Series 6 Ruby Soho. She has shin cut. She feels so good, man. When you can take a fit, this is how you know a 
figure's good, okay? When you can take the figure and really, like, kind of put it in Spider-Man dynamic poses... That's when you know a figure probably checks all those boxes for you. And then and then you have to take into consideration the likeness and things like this. But yeah, man, I really enjoy it. I think the ab crunch could be better, but I enjoy the hell out of this figure, man. I love that, you know, AEW figures. Like, some women's figures are just so damn stiff, but this Ruby Soho is a beast. A little bit too big, you know. I'd prefer it to be a little bit more compact, but I still love it. Next up is Miro from Unrivaled 10. I have the Happy Rusev Day shirt on there because he's on the pick fed shelf. Because this guy can pose around so damn good, man. He has the kick pad rotation, the double jointed knee. He's It's great because he's such a big guy, but he's really buttery smooth and can really like do all the things you need him to do, man. When a guy is this big but can still, you know, do all the different things here and like, I know I'm like posing him really weird right now, but... Just a fun one, man. Just a fun guy to really pose around. So, yeah, I love Miro. This figure's really great. And when a figure has some heft to it, man. Next up is the Walmart exclusive Chris Jericho figure, man. Really like this one. Ab Crunch is pretty decent as well, but yeah, man, I, I I really enjoy the jogger legs. I like the shin cut right there. He's got these Nikes on that I really enjoy. I own quite a bit of this figure just simply for the jogger legs, but this Chris Jericho is a lot of fun, man. I love that they always had the shin cut in there, and I just, I love that. That's a tip of the cap every single time. Next up, we have the ringside exclusive Danhausen. Now, this is my number one figure of the year from AEW and Jazzwares of 2023, and I mean, it goes without saying, man. I wish he had shin cut. It looks like they were going to give him shin cut, and then they change course or something, but it doesn't really affect the figure that much. It can still pose around great, and it's Dan Housen. I mean, what do you do? Well, this is a figure we've been waiting on for so damn long, but I know this is all about posability and feeling hand, I think it does check the boxes you need it to check, and then everything else just kind of falls in place. If he had shin cut, he'd be even higher, but I know these aren't really in order, but you know what I'm saying. Next up, we have probably the most recent figure on this list. It is House of Black Unmatched Series 8 Brody King. Was blown away by how damn good this figure feels in hand, man. Very blown away. It has the heft to it, has the size component, can still pose around great. I still have his vest and stuff on there, but you can still get him into some great poses, man. Like, when a guy can just... I, I don't hear that ricketing sound, man. I feel like that's really uh, something that checks all uh, all the boxes for me there, man. Just a hefty son of a bitch that checks all the boxes, and you love to see it. Next up, we have the last promo gear, man. We have this Unmatched Series 4 Hangman, which is a very good wave, man. Unmatched Series 4. He has kind of that rickety sound, but he's very tight, man. Very tight and business-like. He can kick forward fantastic. The knees aren't stiffy lift like you hate to see. He has shin cut and thigh cut. He's got these beautiful ostrich boots on there, which allows him to stand up very nice, which is something you don't get to see a ton. But yeah, I, I like this, man. Those unique promo gears, man, they, they always make the world go around for me personally, so I enjoy the hell out of this hang, man. And the belt's not loose right there. This is a beast. And last but not least, man, we do have our last figures. It is the Unrivaled Series 3. And on these figures, man, you hate to see it because I really wanted to see Supremes of these guys, and I do believe they were supposed to be, what, Supreme Series 5 or something, and it doesn't look like we're going to be getting those. I know you can kind of, somebody left me a great comment that I completely forgot about, but you can pretty much make Supreme Bucks if you take a couple Supreme Cody's and use their torsos and put them on some of these legs and mismatch and stuff like that. You can pretty much make Supreme Young Bucks, which I'll probably have to do, but these guys pose around the best. These are my favorite iterations of the Bucks. The rest of the Bucks that we get, I don't like, man. I don't like them. I don't like the flared out, you know, sculpted on tassels and uh yeah i mean that's pretty much the basis of it man so yeah these are easily the best bucks it's not even close but that is all of my favorite AEW figures to play with or pose around man i know this the list isn't as extensive as the wwe elites or ultimates you know i did make you know my favorite wwe figures to play with you can go check that video out but these figures are fantastic in their own right man so i do but i would love to know down in the comment section below i know i feel like a lot of people have kind of turned their back on AEW figures and that really upsets me, but I just think it's kind of a case where the lack of releases and then just some different things that kind of turn collectors off. And I think it kind of goes hand in hand with AEW television as well, man. So I would love to know what your thoughts are on that down below. That may be its own topic video, but I'm really still enjoying the AEW figures. They're not perfect by any stretch, but damn, there are some great figures that they've made and they were represented in today's video, man. But that is going to wrap up the video. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I'd love to know your thoughts on these down in the comments section below. I'd also like to know what you think of my list and, you know, what else you may think down below, man. But huge shout out to our Patreon members of the MDT YouTube channel. Always appreciate all you fellas over there, man. Thank you guys so very much. Been getting a lot of activity over there, so I greatly appreciate you guys. But I'm getting out of here, man. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys. I will see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you later. <laughs>